In this video, we'll be replacing the ignition control module on this 1996 Ford F-150. So now to remove our ignition control module here, what we're going to do is actually take out the heat sink that it's attached to. It's going to be held in by two 5 16 bolts. We'll go ahead and remove those. Okay, so now we have our heat sink and our ignition control module. What we're going to do is actually disconnect the power, just pull back this tab and unplug it. Okay, so now we have our ignition control module. We can take it to the bench and unbolt it from the heat sink. So now we're set up in the vise, just a little bit easier to handle. We have our two bolts here. Now they're going to be 5.5 millimeter and we had an issue getting on this side. The actual bolt head itself was touching the plastic not allowing our socket to go on there. So what we did here and we'll actually do it for you again is we loosened the opposite side that we could get on and because we're replacing this we'll just take this bolt all the way out. and we ended up coming in with the flat blade screwdriver and just shifting that module slightly so that we could center up our bolt here and get our socket on that bolt head. And we'll go ahead and take that out. So now before we put our new module in place, we're just going to clean this up a little bit. This is a heat sink, so you want your back of your module here, which is metal, to make good contact with here and extract the heat. So we'll get rid of any loose debris. So again, we're just going to continue to clean this up. Nothing crazy, just to try and get rid of some of that corrosion. This will help, cleaning up some of this corrosion will help the air pass through and will help this breathe and cool down a little bit more efficiently. Once you're satisfied here, just give it a little blow off with some compressed air, make sure all the residue is gone, and we can install our new module. So now with our surface clean, we can put our new ignition module in place. Line up the bolt holes and put in our bolts. Now what I'm going to do here is just snug them up by hand. Make sure they both line up and they're both centered. Once I have it tight enough to where the module is not moving, we'll come back and tighten them down. And now we're ready to go to the vehicle. During our removal, we had one bolt break at the bottom here. So we're going to put our one bolt back in the top. So we're going to align our heat sink and our module. We're going to thread in our top bolt. tighten down that bolt. And 
Now typically, you would have two bolts here. You'd want to go and put your bottom one in. And then this module would be completely tight and secure, making it that much easier to plug in your plug, which we can now do. And push to the rear. And also, on the very end of these tabs, just go ahead and push them down, make sure it's locked in. Once you're done with that, you're all done. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.